Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. A lot happened last time, I think that might be my favourite mission we've done so far. Uh, we went to Las Vegas to try and get Poseidon back, which we managed to do. I just, I really recommend watching the episode, it was, it was so cool seeing Las Vegas the way that they've done it. Uh, it was incredible to be honest <laughs> uh, but yeah we have no other choice but to continue on with the main story everything else has been locked um so yeah we did manage to merge poseidon with gaia but we also got a signal from eleuthia but we're not sure who it's from so we're going to go and see where it's coming from and if it is actually Eleuthia or if it's someone trying to trick us. So let's just it's gonna be let's a get trek started. To get to the location that Gaia marked. Yeah, it'll be nice to stretch my legs after being cooped up in here. <sighs> there and she is. And we're not doing it alone. You ready to head out? Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. <laughs> Just let him have his fun. <laughs> I got proving flashbacks. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? <laughs> Come on, Alan. <laughs> takes the keg. <laughs> Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Okay, I wasn't expecting oh, to obviously more than see another one of them for a long time. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. Which is what we but need. Why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? The world always seems... It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to... assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see them for a long time. What a mess. Out of there. An 
Oseram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Everyone has a focus now. Ah! Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Time to piece it all together. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear. There. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. i do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing well, I guess it's still a work in progress if it blew up she was searching for something she lost her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset the asset is that the uh, sub function thing that you said could be here the Luthia I'm not sure come on let's go talk to Varl Aaron seems to be getting the hang of all the lingo, though. <laughs> oh, hi. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Ooh. SOS coordinates. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Anything down here? Nothing down here. Oh, I hope they don't get hold of it first. If this is Eleuthia. Because what if, like, we have half of the subfunctions and Looks they have the like other some half? some kind of data center. Then what? I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthia's gone? 
If he was ever here, then probably. So, exploring another far and zenith ruin. Why would Zena still searching for it? The at least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you Yet. can blow up. <laughs> uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I really love all actogenic chambers. Oh, hi. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. This what place were they keeps for? on going. Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah, we didn't really spend a lot of time with him in Zero Dawn, but he's just so sweet. He just cares for everyone. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is Erend? Taking all of this, really. Vol. It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. Nothing better happened to him, or anyone. I like everyone. <laughs> Easily get lost in here. Okay. Let's get back. This I don't way. think so. straight oh that's all <laughs> the control console to access the storage units can it tell us if the asset is in one of them well let's find out well, we need to code 236 containers in storage Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. Oh, I should yeah. check the log. Let's see what one that was. What was it called? Two, three, seven. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Did I read the wrong code? Is that the same one Aloy. that we saw earlier? 
It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Lisbet. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to merge them with. What do I do now? Or not? You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. Uh -huh. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. This is not the route I thought. I'll protect her. We'd be going down. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. This will be in my stash when I need it. Like I said before, I wasn't too... Or I was hoping that they wouldn't do the two kind of... Elizabeth clone things, but I said I'd keep an open mind. And this is not where I thought we'd be going with it, so... Things are about to get interesting. Can we scan it? Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These guys are crazy. I should scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. I just wonder why these don't have the armor that the Zenith has. Oh, that thing's quick. Yeah, I don't like this thing. <laughs> Okay. Nice. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Errand. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Me too. If anything's happened to Aaron, I'm gonna riot. Oh. Aloy! Ah! Aaron! 
No. Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. Ah. I'm almost there. Just hurry. But you leave Erend alone. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Erend. Run faster, Aloy. Run! Erend, I'm here. Watch out. Oh, that whoa. thing's shooting down the center. No! Stay put. I'll see what I can do. The second you need me, I'm there. Shields down! It's on the move! Whoa! I'm just hey, glad he's boy. okay. <laughs> Go, arrows! Yes! I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. This is all a bit much for Erin, isn't it? If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. I feel Valve's kind of caught up with everything, because obviously Zoe seems pretty good at picking stuff up quick, and he's learning off her. Erend, on the other hand, not so much. Oh, hi. No! to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Let's talk to these guys first before we go down. Erend? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. 
What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just yeah. in case. Right. We'll definitely be doing that. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. You'll get there, Erund. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. Hopefully. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Zoe's really taking this all in Aloy. the stride. There are more supplies in the chest. Thanks. Help yourself. I need to sort out all my mods on that. Alright, let's go see Val and Beta. Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. Ooh, this is oh, gonna be talk to her. Interesting. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. Did she put it on the other side of her face? She did. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. 
Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. <laughs> so the what? Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. What? That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. I'm also guessing that's Ashley Birch. The way she's changed the voice to sound like Aloy, but not. So we're dealing with the same sense, far but... <laughs> people who once lived on that's Earth. That's amazing. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah. I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. 
The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then... Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Banus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. Damn. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. So there is a copy right, of Apollo. I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. Oh my lord. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. But I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Yeah, we should. <laughs> oh, 
I hope they aren't able to access. I just think she talks a lot. You would do. You do everything there is to know about Gaia. Everything. She can also crank out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind once she's fixed. Well, I guess I just better stay on her good side then. <laughs> Are they talking about Gaia? <laughs> You know, I hope there isn't a way they can kind of unmask the location. But Apollo is out Welcome there. Back. Hey. A few things going on. <laughs> I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. Comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, oh, guys. Silence! Oh, I guess we won't be making use of Silence's uh. weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. I can't Twitter let it distract me. I still have two more self-functions to get. <sighs> it's a little loud, Aaron. <laughs> I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. <laughs> and you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. At least he's distracting himself. Hey, uh. you and Aaron okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot, even for you. Just try to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. How's everyone dealing with beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. <laughs> Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank oh. her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. The ball is so cute. 
No. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. Sure. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. Zoe's picked this up so I'll quick. I'll let you know when I get close to those Grimhorns. Good. If we can get their control cores, maybe we really can heal the land gods. Also, the voice actors have done such a good job of kind of pretending what terms from the old ones are. Like uh, when I was standing in here earlier, Zoe was talking about selfies. <laughs> Just how they, uh, the old ones used holograms. how they come across with it. Let Very convincing. Very convincing. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point they just couldn't tell what was real anymore. Maybe. They were intelligent, but that doesn't mean they were wise. That's very true. <laughs> okay, so we have two more sub-functions to go. Uh, but I think... Let's go and give Talana another visit. Let's go see what she... Let's go see what she wants. We went past this uh, last episode on the way to Las Vegas. Talana. We'll do that tall neck as well, maybe. Love a good tall neck. I see Talana. Hey, be closing in on the signal. Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah, that's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. 
He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porgif about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Okay. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Ooh, what's she hiding? Sharp as ever. Okay, while we're here, we do have another quest. Let's do, a, let's do this one. Are you well. lost? Spark to steel. Aren't you a jewel in a junkie? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delveware. I like him. <laughs> what am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? Oh, go on then. So this camp, <laughs> it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The Delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah, I think they are. How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delver's only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three <laughs> Oscars who the knew a way to bypass <laughs> those bloodthirsty to knock. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. Move along. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the Dell. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by storms and machines so fierce that you wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins. Glint hawks is pushing it. <laughs> Only the bravest explorers dare enter. I've been down there. Have you now? I've yet to lay eyes on the treasures myself, but I will, eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. 
For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find Sit any booze me, around here. Speaking of um, blood, where is Bryn? Oh, hi. Where's Bryn? If you guys don't remember Bryn, it was a side quest in Zero Dawn. And he made you get machine blood, because uh, that's what he drank. I need to get visions. And he got a vision about Forbidden West, and he said if we brave the storm, go and find him. So, uh, where is he? <laughs> where is he? There's the entrance to the town of Porvik mentioned. I need to find his missing expedition. I also think it's path, impossible to east. pick. Uh, a favorite NPC now, because whenever I think I found my favorite, someone else comes along. Tunnels blocked. So no sign of the missing expedition. That's no longer a question. <laughs> I need to find a way to get further. Could be able to blow up that side again. Kaboom. I'll stash this away for later. Again, can I just give a big thank you to the stash? <laughs> someone's still alive in here. Oh, hi. In here. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <laughs> Ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Couldn't escape. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan? Yes. Someone did. Good. At least. I'm not alone. Easy now. Sounds no. like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on. Are we talking machine big? Bad as I thought. Now you're done. What 
are you? Whoa, 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 I didn't even read what it said. <laughs> what the hell it was? I thought it was just borrowers in here. Spike snout. That should finish him off. That also <laughs> I was not expecting a new machine here. Some kind of terror. I don't think it was these birds. say that borrower looks funky. Might be because it's not a bow. <laughs> um, no on me. I can send it to my stash. There might be a completely different machine. I honestly only thought there'd be like one or two new machines that we hadn't seen. And we've seen what, like four or five so far? Investigate the tunnel. Should be able to clear that rubble with my pullcaster. Unidentified signal. Ooh. Like that. Got it. Ah! 
Troubling anyone anymore. <laughs> the author must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I'm going to take a look. GG's. I was not expected <laughs> a rock break. I thought it might have been a silver bang, but no. I think a rock breaker is slightly worse. Find the entrance to the eastern side. Can we search this again? We can't. Okay. These carts must be the supplies the second crew was supposed to bring over. Rogif said his lockbox was supposed to be among them. I can get up here. from outfit. Oh, is that a dated one to this one? Well, I like this one either way, so we're putting it back on. <laughs> I don't know what one's my favourite yet. That wall looks like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have I'll trapped the his in the canyon. Box. Oh, yeah. must have run into the western tunnel. I'm gonna get to the other side. I should be able to blow this up to clear the debris. Oh, I missed all this. Good thing I came back. I'll try this in my stash later. Orgov's lockbox. Got it. I should take it back to him. Yes. So we had to blow it up, right? The tunnel should be clear now. I'm gonna let Porgif know. Woohoo! Let's head back. Level 
lots of data points to read. Can we talk about how beautiful again? <laughs> Can we talk about it? Okay, let's go. Twice. I, I was just curious. Shot, you're back. How's that tunnel looking? It's I found clear. the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rock breaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rock breaker. The way's clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it. And, uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark. Is there nothing you can't do? Here, your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Ah, onwards to the delve. <laughs> He's cool, I like him. I like him. Oh wow. But uh yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. It got um things got crazy again. It's kinda like a roller coaster of calm and then bam. <laughs> um I'm liking where the, the story is going. Like I I've said before, I wasn't I was hoping there wouldn't be another clone of Elizabeth. Um but I'm liking where it's going. I was a little bit skeptical at first, but it's um it's shaping up to be good now, so I'm excited to see what happens next. And the next episode uh will probably help out Talana and um, finish her mission and then head to one of the other sub functions and get them back. Uh so yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode and what happened uh, leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe to never miss an episode and until the next one take care i'll see you soon goodbye